Today I'm going to be explaining two backrooms levels that are the hardest ones to get to. These are the rarest, most elusive ones that are so uncommon that most people don't even know if they're actually real or not. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the video, shall we? The first up for this video is a very enigmatic level known as level Acromatopsia. And it's classified as a class zero difficulty and is supposedly safe and secure and devoid of entities, but I would not trust that. It's not that safe, I promise. So the word acromatopsia is actually a term used for when people lose their eyesight, almost, but not quite blind, like they're almost there. It's when the color becomes very dull and the vision becomes very static. Anyways, you'll see why that's important when I get into the explanation. The level is claimed to be one of the hardest ones to enter in the entire backrooms because you literally cannot do it on purpose most of the time. In fact, the first sentence of the entire description says, this is one of the hardest levels to enter. The level itself looks different to everybody who comes here. And it actually takes the appearance of whatever place you spent most of the time at in your childhood when you were in the real world. So it could be a place like your school or your house or your grandparents' house or the park or whatever it is. Whatever building or physical location it is, wherever you spent the most time, is what the level will take the appearance of. It can also transform and shift to other locations that you stayed at often as well. Depending on how long you're stuck here, you might get to see a ton of different shifts. A common thing to see inside of this level is what seems to be people or entities of some kind but they're not real at all. They're illusions that the level seems to project right in front of you, which is terrifying and cool at the same time. For instance, you could see your family or your friends or something like that. On your journey through your old house or your school, there'll probably be a strange set of whispered voices coming from around you while you're walking around, and they talk to you about your life. This effect could obviously be terrifying if you're not expecting it, but for the most part, it's pretty harmless. There are also some reports of this level changing your visual perception of everything. Like your eyesight will turn black and white and your vision will get all static and blurry and you'll feel like you're kinda in a coma. This effect typically only happens after the level shuffles through more of your memories for a while. After this, you might start experiencing rapid flashbacks from your childhood or specific events and memories that'll pop up. These flashbacks can show you all of your favorite memories and the people that are in those memories and the moments from when you were a child. Again, this is a weird effect, but it's not necessarily dangerous. There actually is an outside area to the level as well, but you can't get to it. It's kind of like there's a barrier just blocking it. You can only stare at it from inside windows. Even though it's thought that the level isn't that big, just a few thousand feet, it's actually virtually infinite since it can change the way it looks to be like any place from anyone's memory. It could be a giant school, a house, a playground. It can be whatever you spend a lot of time at. Now, when the level actually does the shifts from scenery to scenery, from memory to memory and so on, your surroundings will get blurrier and blurrier and more glitchy every time. It's almost like if you keep rendering a video over and over again at a lower resolution, that's what the level will start to look like. And eventually the levels will get so blurry that you just can't see anything except pixels. And you do not want to stay here long enough to see that happen because it's very detrimental to your health. The problem with this level is that even though it's a class zero, it's actually almost impossible to get out of. There's been very few times where people have managed to escape successfully. And they claim that the only way you can exit is when the level is shifting its design. It's almost impossible to unalive here as well, so don't try that as a way to escape, because the level keeps you alive no matter what, and there's nothing you can do about it. For example, if you were on a staircase in your house and you jumped off of it head first, trying to hit your head, the level would actually quickly morph into a memory that you have of a trampoline park or a bounce house or something like that in order to save your head from hitting the floor. Instead, you would land on something softer, which is totally not scary at all. And since this level is actually so unpredictable and prone to changes, there are no bases here. And to enter it, as I said, it happens randomly, and any entrances that are listed are just guesses, or they're just wrong. And to exit, like I said, you have to wait until the level is shifting between memories, and you can quickly find a level key that'll open a door that you know is out of place. You'll know the door when you see it, it's obvious that it shouldn't be there. You have to run to it, open it up, and you can get out. It is pretty rare for this to happen, you just have to wait. So yeah, this one was very weird, also pretty cool. I do not think it should be a class zero, and it definitely should be more of a three or four, just my opinion. Yeah, on to the next one. So 
So next up for the video is level 696, or the Infinity Scraper. This level is actually a theorized level that you could get sent to from the level that I just talked about earlier in the video. And that might be the only way to get here. We have no idea. Other than that theory, we have no idea how people get here. In fact, there's only been seven people total who have been sent here, which is just crazy. The level itself was discovered on May 2nd, 2002, and it takes the appearance of a massive abandoned building made out of concrete thus its name, Infinity Scraper. The level is absolutely massive. I mean, it's called the Infinity Skyscraper for a reason, but because of that, it's very easy to get lost in. The level isn't just limited to this one building though, because if you look at a window or a, or a door or a balcony, you'll actually see the exact same building that you're in repeated for as far as the eye can see. It's almost like the level just pressed copy and paste over and over again during a blank void, and you just get the same building over and over. Each floor of the building looks completely different, and it behaves completely different as well. And the weirdest part of the level is probably the first couple floors you'll spawn in. For example, floor B1 looks like the regular old level 1, and floor B2 looks like level 2, which is pretty strange, of course. And it's thought that each floor level just resembles its counterpart from the actual first few levels. But once you get past the unnamed levels, it can get completely random. Now that's all pretty weird, of course, but what's even weirder is that physically the floors are confined to the buildings that can still be infinite though. And the leading theory on how that's possible is that it's non-Euclidean, so it just makes the illusion that it's infinite even though it's inside of a building. Who knows though? So when you get sent here, somehow, if you're lucky enough to be one of the seven people who has, you'll start at the very bottom of the building and you'll go further up to explore it. However, be warned, because the further up you go, the more volatile and unstable the level seems to get, and the air will get more glitchy, and stuff will start to look all distorted, and everything like that. Which is a pretty similar effect to the first level in this video. I wonder if they're connected somehow with that. It's also almost impossible to go up or down in stories in order, because the only way to get up to the levels or down to the levels is through an elevator that is unmarked and you can't control it. It just opens up wherever it wants to, I guess. So as I said at the start, only seven people have ever been sent to this level to explore it. And they accidentally got here, as I've been saying. Most of them initially escaped very quickly, but one apparent wanderer got stuck and did not escape and has been there for over three years. In fact, they just recently lost all contact with this wanderer. And the leading theory is that the wanderer went too deep into the buildings, into the glitchy areas and got stuck. Who knows? There's a huge catalog of each floor that's been found and documented, what they look like and all that. I'll link it below if you're interested. I don't have time to go over all of them. There's so many. But what I will say is that there are supposedly levels that go all the way up to level 99999.9. So yeah, that's crazy. You can also access seemingly negative levels by no clipping through the very bottom base floor of the building. These negative levels are very glitchy and should be avoided at all costs. You won't be able to see right, you won't be able to hear or do what anything, because the entire air around you is just glitch. I mean, just walking through glitch. And it gets worse the further down you go, to the point where the derealization effect is so real, you just fade away. Anyways, to enter this level, like I said, you have to be sent randomly. And to exit, it's said if you somehow unalive that you can get sent back to level zero, or you could just get lucky and no clip out. We really don't know. It's all a toss up. But yeah, those are two backrooms levels that I think are the hardest ones to get to. I really liked them. Hope you did too. Thank you for everything. Thank you for watching. The channel is getting closer and closer to one milli. I'm super excited to get there. Cannot wait for the golden play button. Uh, check out Toogly and Spoogly for more videos from me. I'm getting into some cool stuff on Spoogly. Go check it out if you're interested. Thank you for everything, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.